This is a short tutorial for the creation of an inventory page in the game making engine Twine. An inventory screen is a staple in many games, and games built in Twine are no exception. All the codes are typed out below in the description, so copy and paste as much as you need. On the first page of the game, maybe in the introduction, you should set all the item variables to false. It should look like this. Make sure the player can't come back here, otherwise it'll reset their inventory. For each item your character can pick up, you will set that variable to true. So when your character goes to pick up the lamp, it changes the variable $HasLamp to true. Then you code the inventory page, and it should look like this. It's essentially a bunch of Boolean checks. Boolean just means that the variable can either store one of two conditions, either a true or false. And there's a bunch of if statements that say if the character has something, then you write the description. You'll need to put a link to the inventory page on every page where the character can check their inventory. And this is probably every scene in your game. So here's what the inventory page looks like in a demonstration. In this title page, the variables are set to false. When you walk to the entrance, you can see some stuff on the ground. And here's where you can check your inventory. When you check your inventory, you see that it's blank. They can go to pick up the lamp. And when they do, the variable has lamp gets set to true. And you can check this inventory to see that you are holding the lamp. And then you can also pick up the sword. When you pick up the sword, it sets the variable has sword to true. And then here you can check your inventory. And you see that you have both the lamp and the sword. I use this inventory page in a little game that I wrote for the 2022 interactive fiction competition. Not only can you collect physical stuff, but you can also collect knowledge. In this game, Visiting the inventory page will also tell you what pieces of knowledge you have collected. These variables are essentially the same. It's a boolean, like has knowledge ritual, that is set to true whenever the player learns about the ritual. And an inventory page just checks whether that boolean is true. And if it's true, it lists the knowledge that that person knows. Okay, I hope this helps. Thanks for tuning in. Happy creating.